There are times where we're trying to actually find the other end point of a segment. If you look here, we're trying to find the coordinates for Z because we were given the end point X and given the midpoint Y. What we need to do now is to reverse the order of what we did in the last example. What I need to do is I need to take Y's coordinate and place it directly underneath X. So I'm going to have Y and then negative 4 and positive 5. What we're going to do now is we need to find the distance to X and then into Y. And I just need to double that distance to figure out what Z is. So I need to find my distance from negative 3 to positive 5. From negative 3 to positive 5 is 8. I just need to do that again. I need to add 8 on to my Y's coordinate. 8 and 5 would be 13. I need to do that over here on the left side. The X coordinates from the distance from negative 5 to negative 4 is a positive 1. I just need to do that one more time and I will get negative 3. So our endpoints to this is Z is at negative 3 and 13.